Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of 7 Minute AE Tutorials, where you learn tips, tricks, and shortcuts in 7 minutes or less. No BS, just AE. In an effort to keep these tutorials short and sweet, sometimes I have to rush through the process of creating these custom animations. So for this episode, I'm going to slow things down a bit and show you how to create custom text animations. There's a lot to get through, so let's dive right in. Okay, so this first text animation we're going to create is going to be some bouncing text. Math is very important for this effect, as well as the location of your anchor point. So let's create a new composition, and we'll just make it 1920 by 1080, and we'll call this bouncing text. Command T to create some text, and let's just type bouncing text. Okay, as you can see, our anchor point is not centered in our text. So with uh, this layer highlighted, let's go to Layer, Transform, and we can either choose Center Anchor Point and Layer Content, or we can use the shortcut as we see here. Option, Command, Home. And as you can see, our anchor point moved to the center of our text layer. Okay, now let's uh, fit this onto our screen. And let's go to our line over here, and we're just going to center this text layer. So if we open up our text layer, we can see right here we have text and transform, and we have this animate button right here with this arrow. So this is what we're going to be focusing on for this episode. So with bouncing text highlighted, we're going to go into our text layer, choose animate, and let's choose position. These animator layers are what control your text. So if you just hit return, we can change that to position one, and this is just the position that your text is going to begin at. So with position one highlighted, command D to duplicate, and now this is our position two. For our position one, we want to animate that off the screen. I want it to animate from the bottom. So let's move our position within position one off the screen. So we'll say maybe 630. And it's important to remember your position here because that's going to dictate the positions of your other animator layers. So in order to center this text on the screen, we need our positions to zero each other out. So since this is 630, we're going to make our position 2 negative 630. In order to animate between position 1 and position 2, we need to open up this range selector on position 2. So we're done with position 1. So position 2, let's open that up. Now the thing that we're going to use to animate this is going to be our offset. So let's put a keyframe at 1 second, go back to 0, and then let's reduce this to negative 100. And as you can see, it does animate in, and there's nothing special about it. So we want something a little bit more interesting than this. So let's open up Advanced here. And as you can see, there are a number of things you can do. What we want is characters. And that's also the default of this Advanced tab. So there are only a few things we need to change for this effect. One of them being this shape right now is square. But we want to change that to Ramp Down. Now notice the text at 0% on our offset now stops somewhere in the middle. So we need to make this offset 100% for the endpoint. So now, as we can see, it starts off screen and it ends where we want it to end. But it's still not exactly what we're looking for. So the next thing we want to do is we want to look at this ease high and ease low. So think about ease high as easing in and ease low as easing out. So if we turn up this ease high all the way up to 100%, so that's something a little bit more what we're looking for. But now we want this text to bounce. Take this position 2, command D to duplicate it. Now we have a position 3. We're at 630 for position 1. For position 2, we're at negative 630. Since we duplicated it, our position for position 3 is also negative 630. Position 3 is relative to position 2. So what this is basically saying is it wants to move negative 630 pixels from where this position ends. We don't want that. We change this to zero this position is zero pixels from position two so now we're going to want this text to overshoot and then to land we know that we're working with 630 pixels either positive or negative so we need to make sure that the math between position two and position three equals 630 so we're going to overshoot this by 50 pixels negative 630 minus 50 is going to put us at 680. so now our position three needs to be 50 pixels to make up for the difference so let's make this 50 and see now our anchor point is still in the middle of our text. Our animation is going to overshoot and come back. However, it's not doing that yet. And the reason why is because our keyframes for position two and position three are in the same exact spot. So we need to offset these keyframes. So I'm moving these two position keyframes. So see, you can see there's a little bit of a bounce already. If you move this over a little bit, you can see there's even more. So now if you want a more extreme bounce, all we need to do is adjust this position for position two and position three, making sure that the final result is negative 630. So let's move this up to negative 700, and that's gonna make this position 70. Grab these keyframes and move them over even more. 
So see, that's closer to what we're looking for, but the final bounce is still a little bit off. Let's open up our advanced tab on position three, and what's giving us the issue is this ease high and ease low. Make the ease high 50%, and then also make the ease low 50%, because now we're gonna be easing out of position two and easing into position three. So that's a lot closer to what we want. I'm gonna adjust these keyframes a little bit, move this over, maybe we can grab these two, move them closer so it animates a little bit quicker. And notice we didn't have to alter our keyframes. These are all linear keyframes. You want to control your easing with this ease high and ease low. Let's duplicate this position three. So now we have a position four, okay? And the reason why I'm gonna do this is I want this to come up, bounce down, and then bounce back up to our final position. So open up position four, negative 70. And if we change that to 140, and we're gonna move these keyframes over a little bit, this should end in our final spot, still centered on our screen. So that's an even more advanced kind of text bounce. And if this bounce is too high, you can change these two positions here. So we're gonna want these to equal 70, because remember, we started at 630, went negative 700, which leaves this in excess of 70 pixels. So if we want this to equal zero, we're starting at negative 70. So if we change this to 100, we wanna change this to negative 40. I've gone over in the past about how to create presets. Make sure you highlight your text, all of your position animator layers, as well as your transform. Go to animation, save animation preset, and that will bring us to documents, Adobe, whatever version you're using, and user presets. I'm gonna create a folder called custom text animation. So we'll create that folder, and then let's rename this bouncing text. Hit save. Okay, and then once that saves, let's get rid of this text layer. Command T to, to do another text layer. I'm gonna type seven minute AE tutorials. I'm gonna do option command home to center our anchor point and then align this to the center. Let's clear out our effects and presets. We either go to animation presets, user presets, custom text animation, this is the folder we just created. And we see bouncing text, or you can just type in bouncing text. The first keyframe will be dropped in depending on where your playhead is. So if you uh, hit I, it goes back to the beginning of the layer and then just double click on bouncing text and hit U and we see those are our keyframes. And it's the same exact movement that we created for our initial text. I hope this helped you out. I'm including the project file in the description. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.